Welcome back to Wines.com TV. Once again, we are lucky. We are so happy to have another great wine maker, winery owner in the studio. We've got Adam Lee. Adam, how are you, sir? I'm well, thank you very much. Adam is the winemaker and owner of one of my favorite Pinot Noir producers in the world, Siduri Wines. I understand that you were born here in Austin, you went to college in San Antonio, and actually ran uh, the wine in, the Austin Wine and Spirits shop here in Austin um, earlier in your life? That's correct. I, I learned pretty much everything I know about wine here in Austin. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. You moved up to California in 1993, began making Pinot Noirs. Why did you, at what point in, in your life did you decide, I want to make vineyard designated Pinot Noirs? By the way, Sidori makes 25 plus, they produce 25 plus different vineyard designated Pinot Noirs across the West Coast, California and Oregon and some of the most amazing vineyards where Pinot Noir can be made. What made you choose that path? You know, oddly enough, we didn't really have a business plan to make all these different Pinots. Things just kind of evolved. But if you look back on it, uh, my mom, I grew up Southern Baptist. I never drank till I got to college. And it's then a shame. I, yeah, and I drank an awful lot when I got to college, but it wasn't fine wine. It was more Jim Beam than it was anything else. But um, my mom grew up outside of Dime Box, Texas, and she used to tell me that she could tell which field the cow had been in by the way the milk tasted on a certain day. That to me was one of the most extraordinary things. And as I, I grew up, I mean, she'd pour me milk and I'd try to taste the field and you couldn't, it's homogenized. It was my, honestly, that was probably the start of the whole thing. If you go way back, it was the beginning of understanding that things came from a certain place. I mean, I grew up in the seventies and everything was, tang or microwaved or tv dinners or whatever generic yes what mom told me was it wasn't that way and when we moved out and wanted to make pinot noir when we fell in love with grapes and wine and pinot we realized pinot still reflects the place that it comes from in a unique way and wine does that as a whole but pinot to me seems to be really specific very transparent a lighter varietal really reflects the place and we have tried to follow that in the way we make wine mm -hmm. Fantastic, and you've done very well. We are gonna take a really quick break and then we're gonna taste through three different vineyard designated Pinot Noirs from Siduri Wines. Back in a second. 